Our next agenda item is the Student Leadership Report, and this um, week's Student Leadership Report, we are very proud to welcome our Pathways to Success um, students, and I know Dr. Swift, you'll want to introduce this item, so please go ahead. Thank you, uh, Madam President, uh, trustees, members of the audience. Um, we always value student voice in our meetings, and we're so pleased this week to welcome our final student report of the year, and it's exciting to hear from Pathway students, and um, Principal Weeks is here as well, and Executive Director Mr. Paul DeAngelis will get us started. Just a reminder that this is the end of the third year of Pathways High School. We also have several Pathways uh, team members here, so if you're on the staff at Pathways, would you pop up and let us just honor you real quickly, all of you guys. There they are, there they are, great. Thank you, Mr. DeAngelis. Good evening. As Dr. Swift pointed out, this is the third year of the Pathways program, and we are excited about this evening's presentation. Um, I know that Mr. Weeks will make all the introductions, but he does have some staff and a fine group of students, some of which are graduated and have come back to join us. Um, so without further ado, let me turn it over to Principal Weeks. Good evening, Dr. Swift, uh, President Stead, members of the Board of Education, and members of the community. We are excited to be here this evening to present our student leadership report. Over the course of the school year, our students and program have made significant strides, and this evening we, we will present our students who will speak to the impact that Pathways has had over their growth academically and otherwise. Accompany me are three of our dynamic teaching staff, Mrs. Whitney O'Keefe, our lead teacher. Mrs. O'Keefe. <laughs> Our Project Lead the Way instructor, Ms. Kim Garber. And our Spanish teacher, Ms. Musetta Deneen. Our mission at Pathways is to build a community of learners that is committed to success by leveraging technology, business partnerships, project-based learning, and best practices in the classroom to enhance the student learning experience. The voices of our students will prove that this is more than rhetoric, but a philosophy that guides our beliefs and actions. Our student representatives for this evening are sophomores Anton, I'm sorry, sophomores Michaela Scott. Michaela Scott. <laughs> Recent graduates Kara Bruner and Kylie Gilligan. <laughs> Sophomore Noah Bond. and alumni student Jasmine Steele, who will share how our program has assisted her in her personal growth. A collection of moments from the 2016-17 school year uh, has been provided for you and will run as our students share reflections from the school year. A series of questions will guide our students as they highlight the pathways difference. So we're gonna proceed with some questions and our students are gonna to respond to those questions and talk about uh, the things that they've experienced this school year. Uh, first question, and anyone can speak to this. Please briefly tell us about yourself and tell us what brought you to Pathways. Come up, come up, come up. My name's Cara Bruner, and I came to Pathways last year. Mm -hmm. And I went to community before, and then I transferred there my, for my junior year. And I am a senior now, and I just graduated. I'm Noah, I'm Noah Bond, uh, I am actually a junior. Uh, um, I was brought to Pathways because I wasn't really on track, not in terms of like grades or anything, but like because I just wasn't in a academic mindset. I was just going through the motions and I believe Pathways helped me get back on track. Great. 
Hi, my name is Kylie Gilligan. I am 20 years old and I just graduated from Pathways. I, I entered Pathways as a 19 year old who had formally dropped out of high school two years prior. What are some of the benefits of co-taught classes? Well, I have a co-taught class, U.S. History and Art, with Ms. O'Keefe and Ms. Portancasa. Um, I think it's a really nice class because you get to learn two subjects in one hour. So it's really easy and I thought history would be like a boring class where you just read out of the book, but Miss O'Keefe actually gets us involved, and Miss Portancasa, she, she like helps us create history with all the art that we do, and put it together. Yes. How has experiential learning helped you to connect to the academic content in the classroom? So um, for me, it helped me realize that not everything we learn is just from, you know, just something we learn out of the book and won't really, we won't really experience it ever again. Uh, I like to, I like to be able to actually be immersed by what I'm learning and what I have to, what I, well, what I'm learning basically. And, you know, I think that that really gets me wanting to learn more about uh, the subject. Okay. Thank you. How has Pathways influenced your perception and attitude about school? Um, I feel that Pathways has changed my, how like important education is and um, to take it more seriously and that it's good. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Um, I don't know. <laughs> um, I think Pathways has changed my look on school because just coming home with having all A's and not like being scared to have my report cards sent home. Now I'm happy to have it sent home, happy to show my parents what I've been doing in class and like just feeling that I'm being ahead of everyone. I like that. <laughs> okay, this question can be directed toward any of the students, um, but pref you know, some of the older students. If you had one piece of advice to give to a student interested in attending, in attending Pathways, what would that piece of advice be? That one piece, what, can everyone hear me? All right. Yeah. That one piece of advice would be to ask help or seek out the resources. I know that the staff members, the counselors, and the principal themselves would be more than happy to sit with you one-on-one -on -one and answer any of the questions and concerns that the parents and students have for the school. Um, I'd say go into Pathways with a positive attitude. There's many reasons someone goes to an alternative school, um, and that shouldn't hinder you in any way, whether you had poor attendance previously or didn't get good enough grades. I think you should just go into it trying your best, and you will succeed if you go to Pathways if you just try. So we wanted to conclude by having uh, Jasmine, who graduated from, from the program uh, a couple years ago, speak to what she's doing currently. And I think that her testimony and her experiences are one that really highlight all that we try to do for students. 
So Jasmine, you can close us out. All right, good afternoon, everyone. My name is Jasmine Steele, and I wanna thank you all for inviting me here today and allowing me to share my experiences of the program from an alumni perspective and how the program has helped prepare myself for my successes today. In 2013, I decided to transfer from Skyline High School to the program that was Ann Arbor Tech and is now Pathways to Success. One of the first impressions that made me feel welcomed and important to the school was when my principal of the program, Mr. Weeks, um, sat with my mother and I before the classes had even begun. Uh, he wanted to make sure that I had a better introduction to the both of us and to answer any of the questions or concerns that my family had before I started attending school. And upon my arrival, I immediately noticed that the size of the school and the class was more accommodating than my previous school. The program gave me the opportunity to make a deeper connection with my peers and staff. The school also offered students such as myself a chance to join the STRIVE program, which prepares students for high school graduation and their journey into college. Upon my high school graduation, I was honored to accept a $2,500 James and Betty Lester Scholarship for the highest overall GPA. At Skyline, I had a 2.0, and I graduated from Pathways with a 4.0. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. With this scholarship, I've been attending WCC, studying in the human services field. I also entered the 3 plus 1 program at WCC, which allows me to attend my first three years at Washtenaw and completing my fourth year at Eastern. Upon completion, I'll have earned my associate's degree in liberal arts and my bachelor's degree in social work. So it's a great program that saves me lots of time and money while completing two degrees in four years. And because Pathways offered me that opportunity to join the STRIVE program, my tuition and books have been donated to me since 2013. Also with that help from my high school and their program, I'm happy to say I'll be graduating from college in December. Path <laughs> Thank you very much. Pathways taught me that education is the future. At first, I did not value my education until I started attending the program. And with the help of my high school teachers, the Rotary Club, and also my high school principal, Mr. Weeks, I'm able to continue my education with the potential for employment upon completion. Attending Pathways was my second chance to start valuing my education and a stepping stone that guided me towards fulfilling my dreams of earning my degree in social work, promoting human welfare within the community, and helping support my family. So in conclusion, I'd like to thank the incredible staff from the program, now called Pathways, for all their help and encouragement throughout my classes. I'd like to thank the STRIVE Committee for encouraging me. And I'd also like to thank Mr. Weeks for teaching me to persevere, to ask for help when I need it, and encouraging me to stay in school. Because of you all, I'm successfully and very gratefully continuing my education towards fulfilling my dreams. So thank you. On behalf of the phenomenal dynamic staff uh, of teachers that we have at Pathways, uh, we're thankful and grateful for the opportunity to serve our students, and this concludes our report. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for coming tonight, and it's a huge testimony to the program that you have alumni, even recent alumni as of last week, um, come to speak on behalf of the school. So we're just really proud of you and keep up the good work. I know it's a leap of faith um, to be in a program like this and really uh, trust your team around you that they will help you succeed. So congratulations to all of you and keep up the good work and spread the word like Trustee Manley said. Thank you so much for coming tonight. Thank you. Thank you.